What is the issue on the Great Conjunction taking place on December 21st in 2020? By the approach of the two planets up to one degree in Capricorn and the following conjunction in Aquarius, we experience the general development and tendency to move from a value system limited to and focused on material values and resources, Capricorn, to ideas which are oriented towards liberal impulses and transpersonal interests. This cycle may well be a defining quality for the next two decades until the next Great Conjunction. In addition, we are in an air sign cycle that will continue for about 180 more years, until about the beginning of the 23rd century, because the next Great Conjunctions will take place in the three air signs, Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. The basic qualities of speed and intellectual agility, as well as independence and its mediating quality, which are assigned to the air element, will therefore be present as overall themes and, in accordance with their nature, will manifest themselves and be experienced as a fateful manifestation in the worldviews of humankind and in the systems of government. What else is special about the Great Conjunction on 21st December in Aquarius? Through the quality of the air element, as we are in an air cycle of great conjunctions as mentioned above, as well as the ideals of the sign of Aquarius and the peculiarity of the course of the coming great conjunction, we also find an indirect reference to a connection with the beginning Aquarian age. From a spiritual point of view, we are currently in a transition phase from the Piscean age to the Aquarian age. While the Piscean Age was about the development of religiosity in the context of the sacrificed God, here we find figures like Osiris, Balda and Jesus, the Aquarian Age is about a more philosophical spiritual impulse of freedom and individuation of humanity.